Have you ever wanted to mark your parking spot to keep your annoying coworker from parking in it? What about redoing those faded handicap symbols in front of your business? Well, my name is Taryn, and I'm one of the many employee investors here at Greg's. On today's episode of Gear Up with Greg's, we're going to discuss the wide array of marking possibilities of C.H. Hansen stencils. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe or leave us a like. The word stencil actually refers to two things the thin sheet of material with a design cut from it, and the resulting image. Stencils can be used anywhere, from parking lots, to warning signs, to identification marking. And CH Hansen provides products for a wide array of these applications. CH Hansen was founded by Christian Henry Hansen in 1866. He based the company on the stencil making business he knew back home in Denmark and he started out by making hand cut stencils. Now the CH Hansen stencils come in brass, low density polyethylene or LDPE, and PVC plastic, which are a bit better than the original hand cut ones. With all these choices, it's hard to know exactly what stencil would be best for you. So let's talk about the differences between these three materials and their potential applications. First up are the brass stencils. These are made of durable 28 gauge brass specifically designed for long lasting service. They're made to slide together and come apart easily. So you have the lettering or numbering you need in a perfect line without all the measuring. Brass stencils are perfect for industries where they face a lot of regular routine use, like putting custom lettering on pavement or other flat surfaces. You can use a brush, aerosol ink, spray paint, or even markers with these stencils. My recommendation is the bristle brush, made with hog hair and ready for all types of ink, just like this one. A bristle brush has a flat top, which is specifically designed for use with stencils. The flat top makes it perfect for brushing paint over the stencil without pushing paint between your stencil and the surface you're stenciling. However, before you start stenciling, it's a good idea to rub your thumb across the top of the brush a few times in case there are any loose bristles. Now, commercial heavy duty stencils are made of low density polyethylene or LDPE. This sturdy plastic is the same stuff you find in playground slides, so you know it's built to last. The material in these stencils is 1 8 of an inch thick and is built for daily use. The stencil lays flat and doesn't lift, even when you're painting with a spray gun or a spray can. If you're looking for a heavy duty stencil that will see a ton of use, this is the one for you. The LDPE stencils aren't damaged by paints or solvents and are precision cut to ensure the best quality image is left behind. A fountain brush is also a great match for these stencils, since they're ideal for big jobs where speed and convenience are key. This brush is just as great as the bristle brush, but with one big advantage. It has a reservoir. This means that you don't have to fuss with the even distribution of paint, like on the bristle brush. Just load up the reservoir with paint or ink, and away you go. Cleaning these heavy duty stencils is a breeze, especially if you spray your stencil with a release agent, like this one, before you paint. 
This makes the cleanup process easy since you'll be able to peel away the majority of the dried paint in huge chunks. And if you ask me, it's super satisfying. If there are any residual pieces of paint left over after you've peeled off the majority of it, you'll move on to the next step. See all the little chips of paint that just came off? These stencils are so sturdy, you can hit them against the ground to get off the remaining bits of dried paint. The most common stencils you'll see around are these. The black material of these are made of 1 64th of an inch thick PVC plastic, which makes them great for easy transport and application. However, these stencils aren't meant for rigorous, large-scale use. So after a while, you might notice them starting to wear. We recommend that you use a brush with these for the best results, since a spray gun or spray can may exert enough pressure to lift the stencil and allow paint beneath it. A fountain roller is a great option, since they won't disturb the stencil. With their neoprene roller and aluminum handle, they are sturdier have a longer life than other rollers. There's even replacement rollers, just in case you've left one sitting in a tray of paint for, well... C.H. Hansen also makes a series of traffic stencils. Large, easy to read characters and symbols, and safety stencils. Small characters used to mark curbs, walls, or floors. Both of these types of stencils are perfect for parking lots. Here at Greg's, we've got all of these types of stencils in a variety of combinations and the ink to go with them. So whether you need a 15-piece brass number set, a 38-piece heavy-duty set, or even a replacement roller head, we've got you covered. And if we haven't painted a clear enough picture for you, feel free to give us a call and one of our friendly Canadian staff would be happy to help you. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Taryn, and thank you for watching another episode of Gear Up with Gregs.